principles of inheritance and variation this is about mendelian disorder part 2 or codominance so what is codominance codominance is a mendelian disorder in which dominant phenotype or genotype cannot completely cannot suppress recessive trait whereas both the traits get expressed without hampering one another in simple words in case of codominance both the traits of a gene or an allele gets expressed at a time at a time now coming to example in case of human beings in case of human beings red blood cells contain sugars present as protrusion on the cell membrane this feature is controlled by a gene called capital I so in human beings the plasma membrane ABO blood groups are controlled by gene I. In human beings, ABO blood group are controlled by the gene I. Now, what is the role of gene I? The plasma membrane of red blood cells has a sugar polymer that protrudes from its surface and the kind of sugar is controlled by gene I. And gene I has three alleles that is capital I A, capital I B and small i. Contain sugar present as protrusion on cell membrane or plasma membrane. These are sugar polymers which are responsible for ABO blood groups. I gene has three allele forms that is capital I A capital I B and small i in these among these three 
capital I A and capital I B produce a slightly different form of sugar whereas allele I small i doesn't produce any sugar polymer. As because human beings are deployed organisms, so each person can possess any of the two of these three genes, either two. A capital I A and capital I B are completely dominant over small i. That's why it's written as small i. And uh, uh, so it's better to say. Human beings are deployed organisms, that is 2N, that means, means each chromosome means um, there is a pair of each chromosome so a pair of gene present in each chromosome or in simple words any two of the three genes that is I capital I A capital I B and small i can be present in a human beings as a result 3 into 2 that's 6 pairs or 6 types of blood group can be found in human beings and capital IA and capital IB are completely dominant over small i capital IA and capital IB are completely dominant over small i. So, in presence of either of the dominant character and small i, the dominant character will be expressed. For example, now I'll give the example. In presence of um, capital I A and small i means when one parent passes capital I A and another parent passes small i to the offspring, then the genotype of the offspring is capital I A small i and the blood type of the offspring is capital A as you can see in the third um, list a third column so when one parent passes capital I A and another parent passes small i then the genotype of the offspring is capital I A small i and the blood group or blood type of the offspring is capital A same is applicable for capital IB and uh, small i. So the blood type of the offspring will be B. When both are recessive characters means uh, small i do not have any sugar polymer on uh, as protrusion on its plasma membrane. So blood type is written as O means do not contain any sugar polymer as protrusion on 
the plasma membrane now coming to the most important one that is if one parent passes capital i a and another parent passes capital i b either one can pass uh, any of these two then the genotype of the offspring will be capital i capital a capital i capital b and the blood group or blood type is ab in both the cases as you can see in uh, the second and fourth example so this is the example of codominance that one dominant character when two dominant characters are passed uh, by two parents then both the dominant characters are expressed with each other they do not hamper or they do not get mixed uh, the expression do not mixes they just help in um they they just express themselves both the dominant characters um, gets expressed at a time without hampering the expression of another one this is also example of this is also example of multiple allele now what is multiple allele as we studied that one gene may contain uh, one a gene in a gene a pair of allele is present mm, uh, they can be either same or slightly different forms that's what allele is now what is multiple allele when one gene is controlled by more than two factors maybe three or four or more than that then it's called multiple allele so what is multiple allele multiple allele when expression of one gene is controlled by more than two alleles it is called the those alleles those alleles are called multiple alleles so i repeat when expression of one gene is controlled by more than two alleles those alleles are called multiple alleles uh, for example in case of codominance what happens that blood group um, the gene means i gene it has three allelic forms capital i a capital i b and small i so this is an example of multiple allele as well 